Hi, this is Manju Ramanan and welcome to another episode of Manju Ramanan Talks. And today I have a very interesting guest. She's a dear friend. I've known her for a long time. She is Pakistan's, uh, I can say, a change maker from Pakistan. And she's someone whose roles uh, have always inspired me. Uh, we're looking at the last three uh, web seri serials that she's done. Uh, one of them is Chudel's. The other one, if my Urdu is not correct, uh, don't kill me. It's Katil Hasino Ke Naam. Okay. And the third one is a very interesting uh, series called Farar, which we'll talk about. And so welcome to the show, Sarva. Thank you, Manju. <laughs> Thank you for having me. It's always, I, you know, when Dubai comes to yes. huh. travel plan, Manju is Oh, so, lovely. Thank you so much. I mean, it's you. a pleasure. Look at you. And what are you wearing? This looks like a oh. sari sort of. It is yes. a fusion yes. of East Week meets west okay. uh, so it's a gown okay. and that has a pallu and Lovely. it's a sanya muskatia yeah. so beautiful i think it's very elegant it and looks so pretty on you thank you and you're glowing and there's something to the glow <laughs> which we'll know soon yes. okay now we'll talk about so many things we mm. have of course you come to dubai you, what brings you to dubai this time so it was the asha bosley concert okay yes and one so couldn't good. miss that i saw that you were yes, there yes. in the crowd somewhere yeah. um 90 years and three hours of performance without yeah. sitting. Yeah. I mean, we say, oh, we're tired, huh? we're working for four hours, we're working for four hours. But that passion, that commitment, right. that love for her craft makes you realize that there is, you have to go a long way. Yeah. And just the recall of what she has yeah. gone through and what her life was, yeah. was amazing. And she was dancing as well. She was dancing. The Kala <laughs> Chashma was too and the, cute. And Kala Chashma was too cute. She, she was amazing. totally with it. She's a legend and I think we are so grateful that we breathe the same air Absolutely. as her. And so what are, what are your favorite songs of Ashish? Any songs that you like? Oh, I like the old numbers. Okay. Uh, so many. I mean, Jhumka Gira Re is one thing that really elevates your yeah. mood. Uh, then obviously, uh, the, I, I... There are many, many, many. Many, many dance many, numbers. Helen Ji ke sare dance Helen numbers. Helen Ji ke sare dance numbers. And so she's done every sort of mood. Yes. Uh, yeah. The slow ones, the, the ones that peppy make you ones. think. Yeah. And then the peppy ones. So all yeah. of them. Yeah. I mean, we've grown up listening to all those songs. So it was a yeah. great recollection also. Also, the, uh, it started with the an anthem, which had, national anthem, which yes. had Ash Lata Ji. Lata Ji. I think that brought yes. tears to so many eyes yes. because suddenly she was giving tribute to her sister yes. as well. So I guess. Yes. And, you know, her, her life story on the big screen, you know, what her father was doing at that age and how how she accomplished what she accomplished. Lata ji, and then she also paid tribute to Noor Jahan ji. Mm, yes. So, Madam Noor Jahan, and it was, it takes a big heart to talk about, yeah. you know, people on the same yeah. level. And so it was wonderful. Yes. And, and I feel Indians always do that, you know, they're always so like yourself. Uh, you always give where the credit is due. That's, that takes a big person to do that. Well, I think uh, it's mutual, right? Mm. We, the way I think Pakistan loves Bollywood. Yes. I think the kind of sincerity with which you guys love Bollywood is, yes. is another level. Yeah. Right? Because we <laughs> only get this much of it. No? So yeah. yesterday we watched Rocky and Rani. Okay. And then I came back and I messaged Karanji. Okay. And I said, oh my God, you wanted us to cry, we were all crying. Mm -hmm. You wanted us to laugh, we were all laughing. <laughs> You've done it. And I just congratulated him for bringing back, you know, those memories that yeah. we've seen all in all his films. And new dances and new songs. Yes. And then Jumka was, Girari in another yes, form. Yes, yes. Yeah. It was wonderful. So we're talking about Hindi cinema and Sarvath. She has a very interesting connection to Parveen Babi. And uh, we'll, we'll ask her about that as well. But because she also found a long lost cousin yes. when she was in Dubai. Thanks to you. <laughs> so tell me about your connection with uh, Parveen Babi, the beautiful Parveen Babi. Oh my God. Uh, the iconic Parveen Babi. Uh, so um, my Nana was a Nawab in a state in India before the partition, um, uh, the state was called Manavadar and his brother got the princely state called Junagar. And uh, because of the partition and everything, he came, he chose to come to Pakistan. And all my life, Manju, I was telling this to somebody, uh, they're like, you're so grounded and you're so down to earth. I said, I get it from my Nana <laughs> because he left everything and he came and he lived a very simple life. Mm. 
and so when you have mentors and idols like that uh, you know you you what do you do you mm. don't have a choice so um, he had that and uh, the 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 dynasty was called the babi dynasty mm. so uh, when parveen ji stayed back obviously some part of our family is still in india mm. so when they when she stayed back Uh, interestingly enough she took the title of the family mm. and so uh, she's long like it's the same clan like mm. the khans or yeah. the uh, you know um, the agas uh, but i never obviously got to see her and mm. meet her mm. but we would always hear and you know the khalas would always hurdle when there was her movie coming mm. uh, because hum log ko itna उन लोगों को इतना सिनेमा देखने की इजाजत नहीं थी उस वक्त तो सिनेमा जाना तो बहुत दूर की बात है तो वो बी एच एस यू नो आते थी कैसेट्स तो यू नो आई स्टिल रिमेंबर एक लंबा सा डाइनिंग टेबल होता तो वहाँ पे बैठ के सारी रात जब नाना नाने सब सो जाते थे तो खाला चुपके से लगाती थी और वो हम देखते थे दैट वॉज वेरी इट वॉज अ कनेक्शन दैट आई I didn't have, but I had. Hmm. It was very weird. Hmm. Uh, but uh, when, as we were growing up, I remember there's a picture of mine where I have a beach ki mang and I have those oh, uh, bo. Achha. And somebody said, "You look like Parveen Babi," and I said, "Oh my God!" I I couldn't tell then. Hmm. And thanks to you, you revealed <laughs> it to the world, and I think I got uh, comfortable telling you and yeah. talking about it for the first time with yeah. you. So. Um, that is what it is so my friend alia babi who is the who is from balasinor near gujarat yes. is related to parveen babi and related. sarvat and uh, alia are cousins i didn't know long lost cousins long lost cousins and now they are in touch yes. thanks to social media and it was so nice you know then i i i told alia ji that my mother would love to talk to her oh. so then i made her talk to my mother oh lovely and my mother you know she was talking and they were talking about old days and the nanas and the yeah. all of that their fathers and they were crying oh. and it was so sweet and i felt i was so grateful to you no, no, for giving that it's just that when you said babi i said the only babi i know is alia <laughs> So it just happened. I think, and she's a cool woman. Oh, huh? she's amazing. She was in Dubai recently. Yes, I know. So yes. I messaged her. Yeah. I said, "Are you still here?" She said, "No, no I left." She left. Yeah. Okay. So now we come back to a very strong women-oriented. We sh- we can't talk about women-oriented today. Yeah. We don't know even know the gender whether it's it's right <laughs> or wrong to say what do we do. Yeah. But the fact is, we're talking about uh, roles that have been powerful women that you've done in the past. Yeah. So do these roles come to you? Do you choose them? How does it happen? I think. I manifest ah, them, okay. and the universe puts them together for me, hmm. because uh, I feel that uh, a lot of these women are also part of me, right. and I uh, struggle for other women also, and I stand up for other women in my society, and I think there's it's a way of God, God's way of rewarding me hmm. uh, with the sense of what they go through. through my roles mm. so i feel for them more right. and i think now they just find me tell me about chudels and then the oh next my God. one chudels was the mama <laughs> of it all and yeah. i think it uh, it was my first uh, women centric uh, yeah. something that i did and it was wonderful um, asim abasi when he called me uh, i read the script and i was like oh my god you know in pakistan talking about these issues which we generally mm. shy away from that's going to be something and the beauty is that the humor is underlying there is yes. there is this there's a sense, of, sense of, uh, yeah, of yeah uh witty uh, yeah. sarcastic humor yeah. Yeah. Uh, which is very uh, you know because he comes from london yeah. and london has that sarcastic dry, humor yeah. the dry humor yeah. so there it is there and it has the most amazing women I got to know Nimra Butcha through yeah. Chirales, yeah. and she for me is a goddess. Like acting wise, or, or person wise too. Mm. But person wise, वो इतनी teddy bear है ना अंदर से वो नरम मुलायम और बहुत ही जानू है. And then I got to meet the very talented Yasra Jizvi, mm. a poet, mm. and uh, her thought process, her mindset, where she brings her inspiration from, very pure, like mm. life. Mm. She would take inspiration from darkness also. she would wow. take inspiration from light also right. and that takes a lot of courage to do right. that and then meherbano 
the young bubbly one uh, but she reminds me what youth mm. is supposed to look like yeah. when we didn't have the guts mm. to rebel. <laughs> rebel she reminds me of that mm. and then the rest of the chorels so that was wonderful it was uh, a game changer for the pakistani uh, mm. you know industry uh, something like that I had not been tapped into because mm. uh, we always have reservations. I mean, I don't know about reservations in the sense that actors always feel that oh, you know, there's an image that you keep. Ah, this broke the broke shattered the ceiling. A lot yeah. of ceilings, yeah. and uh, uh, I felt that 20 years of my career, I've been the Satti Savitri, <laughs> Roti Dhoti, <laughs> Mazloom Se Sakti Vi Aurat, yeah. and now I need to be the Zalim. <laughs> <laughs> So we need to change the table, and so I was totally ecstatic when he asked me, and it did wonders. We got the world disc, um, the gold disc award mm. in India. Um, there was a lot of buzz. Yeah. Karanji messaged me after seeing that, so I got to connect with him mm. uh, for the first time, and so many people. Man- Manish Malhotra, we met uh, mm. at a dinner. and i went up to him and i said manish ji i'm such a big fan and he's like oh come on sarva and i'm like oh my god he knows my name <laughs> and then neetu ji met uh, we met mm-hmm. neetu ji and she knew me mm-hmm. so it was really nice you know when you're when you're recognized Through because work. of your work yeah it's a kind of a power yes, that it's an acknowledgement yes it's like a yes validation validation and also because chorels uh, got me to be banned in my own country yes. <laughs> so that was kind of yes. you know uh, it was different but ban also means a lot of attention oh yes right. so in fact i think a lot of people wanted to watch it more after it got banned ke isme hai kya aur jab unhone dekha to unhone kaha isme to kuch aisa nahi hai bannable aur ye mere har project ke sath hota hai aapko pata hai so uh, that was interesting uh, that fight was interesting also um then we did katil hasin you know mm. which was another noir, noir. Uh, mm. you know desi noir and uh, manju uh, <laughs> i cannot tell you meenu is one director a woman director who has so many interesting stories and you know uh, layers that she adds so so ever so effortlessly yeah. so it was wonderful to work with her and she would just come and give you a line and be like you go play you know and that for me is like oh my god she's giving me a whole playground to be vacco and to like take it a step forward and that was a lot of fun and we were shooting that in the winters and winters in lahore is too mm-hmm. much and um, it was just really nice the story was again very uh, you know how women are taking a stand for themselves and every episode that was very interesting every episode was a different story right so i opened the show with esen khan and uh, usman khalid mm-hmm. bhat and uh, i think uh, mehak for me is this unapologetic romantic girl uh who lives by the rules of love and uh she doesn't there's no um she doesn't want sympathy but yet she lives in her own you know world of sympathy uh and she's amazing and i got to learn so much from her yeah. as a character uh and she was beautiful i think uh, she'll always stay with me yeah. you know but uh parar oh my god the new kid on the block <laughs> um so i woke up to shailja's message mm-hmm. saying of oh, koi variety ke page pe aaya hua <laughs> she's such a darling um farar again is um is a story about three women mm-hmm. um who have their own struggles one is um single parent she is also a makeup artist a stylist a salon owner the other one is a sports uh sports woman and she's a little confused about her sexuality and the third one is a striving actor but she has uh, body weight issues mm-hmm. and she's shamed in a very 
you know so uh, you have all the topics covered all the topics again <laughs> you know all the topics that we face yes as and which uh, is today needs to be addressed in the more, most so. important way yeah. i think it's so important manju to address those things and address uh, these feelings that we don't talk about and have so not been talk, talking about over generations right so now we face mental health issues because mm-hmm. we've always been you know sort sidelining of sidelining it sidelining it and i think it is time that we talk about them and we own them right and we embrace them and we we say it's okay it's normal make things normal right you know those societal pressures and those beta aap patle honge to shaadi hogi which is also what rocky rani does very nicely Uh, also you know, ageism no it also talks ageism. about yes so beyond a certain age you are like yeah. out of the market kind it's of it's so thing. weird like yeah. 30s 40s mein mars chale jate hain aurte mars chali jati hai because wo you know ka shaadi nahi hui hui bachche nahi hue you're not good enough yeah. yeah so all those taboos need to be broken and talked about and with actors playing those roles it yes. also becomes a very important statement yes i think it's it's our responsibility to talk about those things as actors and also it's a variety right it's yes. how many times are you going to play the helpless yes. young yeah must do yeah. <laughs> i've done it for 20 years now i want to talk about issues Breaking that free. yes we were talking about that <laughs> i'm going to wait for the next 10 years <laughs> yes. so this is one actress who doesn't shy about talking about her age yes. most people like to hide their age mm. she doesn't mm. So, uh, 40. <laughs> Just <laughs> clearing the air, 40, and very happy to be 40. And it, you know, the kind of uh, maturity and the kind of uh, resilience you get at 40 is unbelievable. And I know the number also. The next number is 50, and the the coolest number I think will be 60. Yes. So every 10 years. I feel we shed we renew yeah we know, mold molding. we mold and we shed a lot of preconceived notions yeah we shed a lot of other people's opinions yes. <laughs> about ourselves yeah and i think it's so important to um, i think the thing that happened to me in my 40s was that i uh, respect i started respecting my boundaries mm. and i started respecting and loving the child that i've grown up as yeah you know you tend to forget about that child yeah. who's gone through a lot Right. uh but you tend to just appease everybody and now in your 40s you want to just appease that yes. child and yourself and yourself mm-hmm. so i'm very happy appeasing <laughs> only these two people <laughs> sarvat has been part of a lot of outreach program she's an artist as well and works very closely with children so tell me about what what are you doing next um manju i run an art school as you know it's an after school space for children and um it was my idea and my way of giving back because i'm the ambassador for special olympics and i see the kind of talent we have mm. and these special needs children have they're mm. so unbelievably gifted mm. uh you know it's only our mind blockage that we uh, we think that they can't do this and they can't do that they can do everything and anything if they're put to the task so uh the idea of opening the school was to give the less privileged an opportunity a chance a platform to display their talents mm. and to also give them awareness on things that we generally as parents shy away from mm. so we have five programs one is arts and crafts where we talk about art history and history of design mm. and as an art student i studied that in the university level mm. so i felt like why does one have to wait to so go to the to university, university to understand who sadik an was and who mm. van gogh was mm. and so yeah. on and so yeah. forth so we start with a very uh, at a very early age so 5 to 15 is my uh, age group and then we talk about uh, taekwondo and body boundaries so safe and unsafe touch mm. bullying how to uh, address bullying how to talk about uh, you know just having body boundaries and understanding that even as a child you're supposed to know what you know your boundary is and nobody can cross that mm-hmm. you know aise mall mein chalte hai kitna cute hai ye this should not yeah, happen yeah. so and and then how to cry for help what are Whenever the hand gestures mm-hmm. that you need to know uh, so 
because a lot of times parents i feel they themselves get so uncomfortable talking about safe and unsafe mm. touch and these kind of things yes. that they take too long to talk to right. their children about these things so we talk about that also special needs kids are bullied a lot yeah. so they need to learn how to use their strength and uh, have that confidence to stand up against bullies mm. and we've had amazing cases where parents have come and hugged me and said you know today he stood up for the first time and mm. now i can die That's in a... peace thinking that he can take care of himself and so many others will you compile these stories and yes a... yeah. yes yes uh they're amazing they're yeah. so they're so close to my heart and very precious so i don't know if i want to give them out into Public. the world yeah. yet but inshallah Eventually. do something about them mm. then we have uh, music because i feel music really just explodes yeah. uh, your uh, you know so many inside hormones your uh, yeah, yeah. your th- thought process your intellect your uh, ways of using both mm. your hands and stuff so that and then we do uh, yoga and mindfulness mm. now we know what emotional intelligence is imagine if he knew that as a child yeah. that this is not depression this is fear and there's a difference uh, you know in that emotion so uh, i do that i did that with my children so all these things i did with my children mm. and i felt like it shouldn't be limited to my two kids the world needs this right. and yoga is so nice for children i feel that they get to know Their themselves bodies. and their prana and their you know how to calm themselves down mm. and elevate their prana mm. also so that we talk about um, uh, you know emotions and self awareness and how to deal with failure and how how failure is okay and how to uh, having uh, you know expiry dates for blaming your parents or your siblings or your yeah. teachers yeah. and so i felt take, take, taking responsibility for yes it. Yeah. at a younger age yeah so imagine the kind of like people we'll be devel- developing if they know so much about themselves already we'll be mm-hmm. so less confused mm-hmm. you know True. and not make hasty decisions like we did <laughs> <laughs> and then we have uh, table manners etiquette and baking okay. which is one program okay. so we set the dastarkhan also and we set the table also oh, okay because uh, and you know it's so nice when we got the report card day a lot of parents told us that you know my my child is telling me that glass idhar nahi hota glass idhar hota hai mama and just to uh, have you know gender bias khatam karna ke boys kitchen mein nahi ja sakte hmm bahut zaruri tha to have them realize and and i feel like the more you stay away from the kitchen the bigger the monster becomes hmm. Mm-hmm. so you have to tell them that it's okay you can even if you don't know how to cook you can you go can help. help cut the yeah. vegetables or whatever and yeah. be part of the family dynamics in the right. kitchen right so all those things interesting and what next now what are your next projects um so i also work with indus hospital which is a big uh, health network uh, in pakistan i also work with search for justice so i recently we had this incident in pakistan where um a girl uh you know a domestic uh, child mm. labor was uh, really tortured because uh she made a mistake or mm. i mean even if she made a mistake the the owner was uh, a judge's wife and it just became very you know Widely. yes and so i went to see her and um uh, i just i cannot tell you manju what i felt she was in the hospital in a very bad condition so we want to change the policies and i work with search for justice because they talk about the children in punjab i come from sindh kalatri uh, so i want to also reach out to the children in punjab and so we go to uh, hippie colonies uh, who are living under the bridge you know all these town criers mm-hmm. and stuff their children and we do a lot of art then uh, the flood came mm. uh, the floods were you know they just had such a terrible impact on the ch- 
children in the community. So we went, we did a day of art therapy with them. So I called all my vendors and I said, look, this is the time where you, you know, I uh, talk about your brand, but only if you're giving it as a gift to the children. Mm -hmm. So I, we collected a lot of gifts for these children and we went, we spent a whole day with them. So I like to do that because I feel that, you know, how do we give back? There's yeah. a, and there's a reason why we're here. It's not fame. It's mm. not my passion for acting. That may be true. Mm. But there's a bigger change that I have to bring. Right. You know. And I feel that if each person in this world takes a bit of responsibility, mm. all these problems will be solved. Mm. So we've got to start somewhere. Great. So <laughs> outreach. And you're using art for an outreach true. thing, yes. which is an amazing thing. Yeah. Not how many people do it as social responsibility. Yes. Yes. I feel art connects... And, and dissolve so many borders and biases. Yeah. And what about the other films that you're doing or series? What is the next? So Farar is something that we uh, we're shooting also at the moment. And you release three episodes. Right? Oh, we're releasing two episodes okay. at the Chicago Film Festival. We're okay. super excited. And that's on the 21st of this month, okay. uh, September. And we're going, uh, and only the girls are going. It's the <laughs> it's best. It's a girl trip. It's a girl trip because it's girl centric. Yeah. And you know, uh, I feel that Shailja is is an angel that was sent in my life to remind me that Sarvat, you your place is not here. Your place is somewhere else. And as a as an actor, I feel if somebody trusts your craft, it gives you a lot of encouragement. To go beyond your comfort level mm. and she did that and I feel uh, it's become a joke within the Z uh, family that everything we do it has you in it so what is this business huh? <laughs> and and that's purely their love for me mm. and their recognition of the kind of work that I want to do right. and how I want to push my boundaries and push uh, push projects along with so you're choosy yeah. about the work that you take. I am. <laughs> <laughs> Having important. said that, I am choosy. Fabulous. It was lovely speaking to you. Oh. And I think it's always, always beautiful when we talk because this is a conversation, not an interview. Yes. Yeah. She, uh, you know, um, it's so nice to see you doing interviews of such amazing people. And just the fact that you can count me in that list is so, so humbling. And I keep and you know, like when I see your interviews, ek aapke questions itne, you know, interesting or different hote, main dar jati hu ke, uh, manju aayengi aur wo puchhengi aur main stuck ho jaunge. But the kind of people you're interviewing and the kind of platform you're, you've created. Thank you so much. It's my uh, small uh, effort in trying to do what I can do. You've done it's fantastic. It's a YouTube channel which has little followers, but I'm thank I'm thankful that you agreed to come on a channel. Aapka picha nahi chhodenge thi asani se. Thank you. That's very humbling for me to know because uh -huh. uh, the work that I've done is is this, this it's is, amazing work you've done. Thank you. So don't don't ever <laughs> feel that it's small because it's yeah. we start even if it's small now it changes impactful. a lot of uh, you know. Thank you very across much. the globe. Thank you. I'm so glad to hear that. And do watch this interview on my channel soon. And mm. uh, Sarwat is an amazing person to watch in all her series. And we're waiting to watch for her. Yes. I and it's wait. going to be aired where? Uh, uh, it's going to be aired on Zindagi okay. channel. Okay. Uh, we don't have the date yet because yeah, we're still in the process of shooting. But inshallah, in a, in a month or so, it should be out. Okay. The first two episodes are going to be out uh, at in America, Chicago, yeah. in Chicago. So we're very excited about those also. I'd love for you to review it. Yeah, I would love to. Send me a link. I'm sure you have a look at it. Done. Thank you very much. Thank it was lovely you. speaking to you. <laughs> Thank you.